This morning, Democrats are one seat closer to keeping control of the Senate. CBS News has projected Mark Kelly as the winner of the Arizona Senate race. Now all eyes are on Nevada. CBS 2's Christina Fan joins us live from the newsroom with the latest developments in the midterms. Christina? Good morning, Andrea. For now, control of the Senate is still up in the air. For Republicans to take the majority, they need to win both of the remaining undetermined seats. Democrats, however, need just just one. After days of ballot counting in Arizona, another critical race has been decided. CBS News projects Arizona Senator Mark Kelly has defeated Republican Blake Masters. Late Friday, Kelly took to Twitter with a simple message, thank you, Arizona. It's a hard-fought victory for Democrats, who now need one more seat to control the Senate. There are only two races outstanding. In Nevada, challenger Adam Laxalt leads incumbent Senator Catherine Cortez Masto by a razor-thin margin. Meanwhile, Georgia is preparing for round two after neither candidate won a majority. Prominent Republicans are already campaigning with Herschel Walker, preparing for a runoff next month against Democratic Senator Raphael Warnock. I was built for this. Yes. Republicans did see a win in Nevada late Friday. In the race for governor, Joe Lombardo is the projected winner, defeating sitting Democratic Governor Steve Sisolak. In Arizona, the governor's race is still a toss-up, and Maricopa County elections officials criticized Republican candidate Carrie Lake, who has questioned the process. We're not doing anything wrong at all. And that someone from here would suggest that we are doing something wrong, that's frustrating. Officials there say it can take 10 to 12 days after the election to reach the final results. This year, a record number of mail-in ballots has slowed the vote count. And CBS News projects the House still leans Republican. They have yet to reach the needed 218 seats, but Republican leader Kevin McCarthy has already announced his bid to be the next speaker. In the newsroom, Christina Fan, CBS 2 News. Christina, thank you.